Thanks for messing around. McCoy only pits up the big numbers and Vampire Survivor's Beswick 130. Time to take on the postcards with McCoy only. That is not McCoy only. Alright, this should be pretty simple. On account of the fact that he's super duper unkillable. Let's make Boogaloo as big as possible. Crown's on the map, spinach is not. Not that I need stats. And... Need an empty tomb. I'm not sure why I'm making choices. I could just go brave story with this and it would be no problem. In fact, I will do that. If I can. There will be no problems whatsoever with this. Just need the right power. And it will be all good. What am I going to get for my random level up? I have no idea. It looks like Skull, which was on the map in Duplicator, which is fine. Kind of wild. Think about it. Now this is a nice and relaxing play. No difficulty should ever pop up here. Yep, easy breezy, whipping it easy. Yes, I can grab those. I can grab them now. Look at how fast the McCoy only is going. And then the Atlantean has difficulty getting in. So let's see. The easy trip to the Foscaris? Nah. The Tanuki invasion of the Foscaris? Possibly. Wait, I didn't get all the crowns? Wow, that's hilarious. You'd think so with 200 plus luck. Or, no, probably shouldn't be that high. Oh well. Hey, Empty Tome, and Armor, and Skull Maniac, all of which are on the map. Wow, what a terrible pull did the Brave Story give me. Well, I suppose it should be expected from the original translation. Bracelet over breath. Really? Go. Oh, you can break through. Why are you not breaking through? That was weird. Back with the Atlantean. I don't even know what's on my stats. There you are. Now this doesn't crit. That's not helpful. That does nothing. No point. Nope. Nope, Billy really Dope. Not so much. But a storm may should really benefit it. I guess I'm going wicked season. No, oh, I got picked up Razor 2. Jeez. I got three of the things that were on the map through the Brave story. How odious. Does this even benefit me? Well, no, nothing benefits me. I've got this level of stats. Uh, where is it at? No, it's not there. There we go. Take that damage, you dang Atlanteans. Being able to actually move through helps. <laughs> also, 20 armor is basically I'm invincible. Uh, I really want to risk grabbing them. No. I'm going to do it anyway. Got to get more eggs. No Tanukis. They love eating eggs. Man, look at that damage fly. It's like a flamethrower with super death. Jeez, how much damage does this even do? 
Hey, more metaglioin. Starburst, you can't stop me. Nothing can stop McCoy Oni. In fact, I'm so confident I'll actually go through this way. And get destroyed by whatchamacallit's brain mantis things. Dun, 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 dun. Is that dang small clover here? Yeah, there it is. Yep, not even the brain mantises could stop NFT. Look at that damage fly. I don't think there's a hit uh, delay with NFT. Watching those numbers fly. Huh. Well, that explains so much about it. Even death would get stopped by that. Oh, I'm in limit break. Nice. And I've got 23 minutes to go. Not nice. Uh, 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 uh. Well, might as well grab the uh, gold fever. Oh well. Thanks for the candy box, but no thanks. 10,000 G's. Can I get another one away, Boche? Nope. In theory, Paranormal Scanner would ultimately, you know, compensate for the loss of Silent Old Sanctuary. So I will do that. When I get the Super Candy Box 2 Turbo, I will get Paranormal Don't you just love it when the headset keeps disconnecting for no reason? I know I do. So, as I was saying before I was so inexplicably interrupted, I'm gonna get Paranormal Scan because, well, it's not like this is a loss at any point in time. And I want to see how funny I can push up the numbers. Wow, that wasn't the Super Candy Box 2 Turbo Game of the Year Edition Remix Master. Oh wow, they actually got in. Good on them. Three hundred seventy-five health healed from the chicken. That's almost a full heal without Sarabande. And for four-digit damage, nice and big. Huh? You got in. Two of you got in. But 20 is a very large number, even for Curse. Let's push it higher. Are you out awake? There you are. Right, get the XP when the crown is up. That is growth season, which means I get the bonus to growth. And a ton of level ups show up out of the way. Man, that's some big boche. 198 levels of power in your career. Of area. If only I could get that dang paranormal scan to go even sillier. Just my imagination, or did Wicked Season not last all that long? Out of here, boss cockatrice. No. Why is it not giving me the candy box? There we go. Like I said, there's no challenge here with all the eggs I have on the coyote. And it's nice to have someone who's completely overpowered. Granted, apparently everyone in Moonspell is overpowered when you go to Simon Old Sanctuary, so hey. I was not gonna lose this. Even if I had gone to Rona's box on top of it. So you can watch the stats fly. Huh, it's almost as much health as I have levels. Oh right, growth season. Gotta put the hand back on the controller sometimes. Oh. Hey, 
and it gets even bigger. <laughs> Watching the NFT flare up like that when it goes with the boche increase, it's very funny. Well, yeah, that's maxed down cooldown. If I had Sarah Bond, I could do another 520 damage a pulse. So that would have been funny. Growth season. Time to pick up my gems. They're getting dicey now. Like I mentioned this before on the first video, but McCoy only is just... I randomly decided to just sit in Atlantis in the Abyss Foscari. And no intention to do it. It just sort of happened. And I didn't leave. Which incidentally means I'm going to be doing it again. He's going to get even more eggs. But hey, having one character show off what the eggs do is a pretty good idea, I think. It's not like McCoy only is my favorite or anything. Kind of like Antonio, just for generic sake. In fact, who is my favorite character? I really like Mion. Of the Among Us, Mina is the most ridiculous, so I like her. Uh, Tides. Or, yeah, Tides of Foscari. Yeah, I don't know. They're all good in Tides. Huh? Why are you hurting me? Ace game, Antonio. I like Rose Dan Furnace. She's got a really nice design. That Robert's hilarious. Antonio is... Look, I like the generic dudes. As the most generic dude known to man himself. I gotta represent myself. Man, eventually they're not even gonna be on screen. Uh, let's see. Ramba is probably the only character I outright hate. Just because Carly is so bad in Duplicator. Well, he got other characters with better ways to use that. And, oh, Sir Ambro Joe. He's definitely one of my favorites. This class act. Totally stole the spotlight in the Among Us trailer. Absolutely Brad Fang is going to be my favorite out of the Contra DLC because it's Brad Fang. Brad Fang. Just listen to that name and you know what's up. Hmm. So I suppose it didn't really happen all that often, but it seems that the one-way poche will absolutely hit things that are just within the area. Oh wow, I'm getting hurt. Huh. So I guess maybe I actually would have lost a life. Well, one or two revives. Not that it really matters. Still wouldn't have broken through. Probably not 16, but still double Jiggy lives. All making me stronger all the while. I wonder what stopped the gold fever. You know, it's not like there's really much point to paying attention when you're this strong. Effect? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, the boches are so big they're barely on screen anymore. And it's still damaging everything within the area, so I never knew that. I thought it was only when they were hitting things. But, you know, it's pretty hard to tell since most characters aren't going to go this hard in the overpowered direction. Because, frankly, how often are you going to find one away, boche? Not very often. I didn't want that. I didn't want that at all. Hmm. You know, I wonder... You no, know, it's a pretty terrible idea. It's not like I could really prove it, but I could probably try to... Oh. Thank you for fighting, Atlantean. Uh, see if I can do a Bisphos Kari with my eyes closed. There's no benefit, and I don't have a camera to follow along to prove it, but hey. It would be a hilarious and dumb idea, right? See how far I can go 
with my eyes closed. It's not like I'm going to be in any danger. Uh, granted, I don't know what the cues will be. Since I have to turn the TV volume down, and I don't have... Well, hi, Candle Arbador. Thanks for joining. Make the area even bigger. Uh, 661 area. I wonder if I can get up to 666. Prove who I align with. No, it goes up to 677. Oh, oh, I got a ton of levels at once, that was why. I needed that. Oh, uh, let's see. Two more lives. Oh, I got Avatar of Gaia. How's it hanging? I can't see it, can you? Oh, there it is. I can just barely make out some of the horns. Alright, get levels. Go up high. Nope, it got banished super fast. Imagine how much crazier this would be with Mina. 5 XP a level, plus Wicked Season and Paranormal Scan. Damn, nothing surviving that. Ooh, I think I'm hitting five digits sometimes. That's always awesome to kind of see if it's true. Mostly otherwise it seems it's like 2,500. And that range should get better though. Yeah, Wicked Season Mina is crazy. Really tried, should have tried it. Maybe I should put on the Absolute Warning. Oh, I mean... Playing Vampire. I oh, don't know, that's sort of the thing. If you're going after something... If you're going after Vampire Survivors videos, and you've probably played it or are interested in it, so you should know that there is an Absolute Warning for flashing lights. It feels awkward putting it up. It's not like it hurts anyone to put it up. It just feels weird warning people who should already know in advance. Huh. Let's see. Names for the video. Wanna wait, Boche? Bye bye. Oh man. Totally should have had this as video. Wanna wait? What? How'd I go down? You can't stop me, death. Oh, hey, another crown. 1.8 billion. Somehow less than Mina. <laughs> Alright, that's McCoy when he's first run down. The second one's going to be coming right up. Alrighty, back to the McCoy Oni grind we go. Yeah, that was dumb. Righty, uh, it should be 15 minutes, if I remember right. Mm. Well, no, it's mostly pointless. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to get anything out of going with my eyes closed. Here we go with Boogaloo of Illusions from the start. It's not like I need... Uh, da, 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 da. It's an old sanctuary, but I'm going to pick it anyway. Or will instead I go with Wicked Season from the start for comedy's sake? Alright. And that's what a terrible set of pickups again. Armor and Crown are both on the map. Anyway. Well, here we go. Skull of the Maniac. I didn't know they put my skull in here. Oh, four of them. That's right, I have four heads. That's where I get all my lettuce from. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Gotta get that silent old sanctuary going. Oh, hey, damage. Maybe grab one or two of these crowns before I get stuck leveling them up to max. 
Gotta shine a light on the brave store. Uh. You know, I don't know if I've brought this up, but... So, da -da -da -da. if you've played, or not played, I guess, Final Fantasy VII, there's a bunch of demons called Lukavi in there. Or Lusavi, I don't know, depending on however you want to pronounce it. Anyway, there's demons, there's 12 of them, based on the Zodiac. Sort of. And a 13th one, because you gotta go get, get that snake in. Anyway... Oh, wow. That happened. Okay, where was I? So there are 12 demons based on the Zodiac. Well, I just said there were 30. Anyway, there are 12 of them. But only a couple of them are actually directly in-game. And they're all named. And eventually, later on, the rest of them get named, the ones that weren't in the game directly. And they get named after old Final Fantasy bosses. You know, Chaos, Mateus, Dark Cloud, no, Zeromus. Anyway, they all get named, but the thing was, they actually had all 12 of the Zodiacs named, or Lukavi named, demons named, in the original. There was a list of them. And incredibly hard to find if you quite literally didn't know where it was. There's no way you could see it. I don't even actually know where that is. It's just something I read on the wiki one day. And like I said, all of them are named there. And to make this prescient, one of them is Leviathan. And the Rising Tide DLC for Final Fantasy 16 is releasing well, before I post this video. I will have actually, sh I should actually have played the whole thing and beaten it. Because boy, am I doing dumb things to do that. You know, it's kind of funny how that changes. Anyway, back on the subject of that. It's kind of funny because, you know, it's just sort of wreck up. Most people aren't going to know that. You know, it's vaguely irrelevant to this because both Brave Story and Bracelet. The original translation was quite literally so bad in places that the 50 Years War, due to the way it was translated, the 50 Years War was literally, quite literally, still going on during Chapter 1. So, translation is a funny business. Oh, I should go destroy Genevieve with my giant balls. Are they called... Well, obviously they're Boche, but are they balls or are they called shot put officially? I don't know why you show serpent. No one wants you show serpent. They only want Ophidian. Zodiark! That's the 13th one. Snake thing. Bye bye, Genevieve. Am I limit breaking or am I going through the wall? Or wall breaking or am I going through the passage? No, I think I just moved through to the train. Okay. Oh, that's a ton of stuff. Ready. Where are you at, Atlanteans? I want my golden egg fix. Do I have everything maxed out? It better be. No, oh, where are you going? Where are you at? Lanterns are down. You should be spawning in. Or the big four are down. You should be spawning in. Maybe they're time-based. I just never noticed because I, by the time I get over here normally, it was much later in the run time. Slowly make my way up. Well, obviously don't go slow here with the crown. Gotta get that XP. Hmm. Where are they at? Definitely in the room. Oh well. 
So yeah, all 12 Lucavi were named. Eventually in Final Fantasy XII, they changed it so that the ones that weren't seen all had new names based on Chaos, Mateus, Seromus. I don't actually remember the rest. It's not important, I guess. Yeah, none of the names were important. And that happened, and I know eventually, like, one of the four, Final Fantasy XIV DLCs was sort of a sequel following uh, What's-His-Face, the guy who's doing the narration. Oh, hey. That's there. I mean, I don't need it, it's just, what else am I going to get? Nothing else is remotely helpful. This isn't even helpful, but hey, why not? Where are these dang Atlanteans? Maybe it's only 15 after? Maybe I should exit the room first. Well, that's not right. Alright, let me break and trigger on paranormal scan, can it? Uh, no, this is the top of the room. They usually don't come in from the top. That'd be sort of like middle-ish. That crown spawn? No. Oh, it's growth increase from the paranormal scan. Okay, the Atlanteans should be spawning in by now. Maybe there's like a limit. You can only get like a... Only, they only show up when you have a character with like a thousand or less eggs. I don't know. I've never been back here with McCoy. Pony. Uh. Yeah. Well, it is what it is now. Less eggs than I was hoping for. So, Final Fantasy XIV apparently had, you know, following the narrator guy, who was a descendant of a god who died or lived, I don't really remember. I think he died. A lot of dudes die in that game. Anyway, it's kind of funny because it sort of misses some incredible minute details that I know about. And I haven't actually played it, but I do read about it. Maybe it was just a case of Lost in Translation. Well, both literally and through the summary I read. I don't even know why I read the summary. I was just bored, I guess. But I did it. I, I can't remember it this far out. But I do remember there being some minute details I knew about at the time that were wrong. I didn't really talk about it because I didn't care enough. But that's the thing. Which leads to one of the funniest points about tactics that, well, that's kind of pointless to say. In fact, it would be gigantic spoilers because it involves a plot twist in the end of the game. I mean, I guess technically I already brought off the demons, but. Hey, that's there, I guess. Whatever. Anyway, this all circles around to one thing, and it is Ultima and not Ultima. Okay, let me move again, see if that spawns in the Atlanteans back. And maybe if I go past the wall? Nope. I should go gather my levels. Just letting the magnet suck it all in. Oh, hey, another magnet.
Yeah, there must be a trigger here that the Atlanteans only spawn in if you have so-and-so amount of eggs. Because I'm pretty sure they should have showed up by now. And again, they're triggering it near an inverse. Seems to be really messed up compared to regular. Maybe I'm supposed to be down here then. Dang, I can't tell when I'm in the wall or not. It is nothing but numbers. So on a completely unrelated Sieg, who is your favorite character in Vampire Survivors? Who did you accidentally overpower like I did with McCoy Oni? Look at that damage for the eye. Now who's your favorite of any of them? Base game, add-on, secrets, what's your favorite ghost? Probably should be asking this earlier in the video before retention drops off, but nah. On that note, thanks for all the new subscribers. I got a surprisingly large amount for, well, what's my pace? Multiple in a day? Crazy! So, yeah, thanks to all of you who have subscribed in the past few days. That was very nice. And if I could smile. It would have put a smile on my face. But I have too much facial damage from punching myself in the face with a socket wrench. Which you would think would be me hitting myself in the face with a socket wrench, but no, I put it against my face and then punched it. Why? Well, I don't know. Because I could. Well, okay, I could sort of smile, but it's really unsettling. See how my voice changes pitch when I smile? It's a real thing about your voice changing when you're smiling. Don't I sound even creepier than normal? People already flee from me when I wander around at night. And if I were to smile, it would make it even worse. Huh? What's that? Oh, it's one of those weird, uh, cloak rat things. Speaking of rats, I think she's actually a mouse. I mean, it makes so much more sense if Huckos Bales is a mouse than a rat. I mean, maybe mouse and rat are different in old Aussie land. Well, I guess she's not an Aussie anymore. What a completely random Sieg, eh? You're getting all the highlights in this Vampire Survivors video. Other video games, translations, VTubers, weird stories about body mutilation, me being creepy, me smiling. Well, that's covered under me. Oh, I wasn't even in the room anymore. When did I leave? Oh, being grossly overpowered, not paying attention to what's happening on camera. <laughs> well, screen, not camera. Boy, would that not be good. Oh, I didn't know there was another waterfall stuff over here. Why did I set that timer? I wasn't doing the close eyes thing. Yeah, I have to... Well, I don't have the TV volume up, so I wouldn't actually know when I end if I did set the timer, or if I did do with my eyes closed, I wouldn't know what, when I would end. Uh, the controller doesn't vibrate or anything when death takes me out. And the sound cue for when it ends isn't particularly loud. Well, it is loud, but I have the volume at like one. Just to make sure the mic doesn't catch it up. Which seems to be working. Honestly, that was kind of the problem with my sound settings, is the mic kept catching up the TV. So I kept dialing up the mic to hope it would drown it out. And while cutting down the game direct audio, then it wouldn't. It just kept causing problem after problem. And eventually I figured that out. And 
you know, just turned off the TV. Which is, oh, kind of annoying. Because <laughs> I want to listen to the music. At the very least, a lot of people were hyping up the Corn Overlord soundtrack, and I heard basically nothing but the arena music, because it was the only thing I was doing off camera. Where am I? Oh. Oh, wait. What are these things? I'm never really in this room when it's like this, so... Do I have to hit these to spawn the Atlanteans? Quit it, death. Well, whatever. That's McCoy Oni doing a big fat 4 billion damage. We'll round up in this one very specific case, because level 718 is a very odd number. Hey, almost a quarter of a million deaths, too. Or defeats, too. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Vampire Survivor's out. And to the surprise of what should hopefully be no one, McCoy Oni has taken down two more levels for the Beswick. The little scaries are done, and we're almost out of the tides. Tides. Uh, Legacy of Mount Moon spell, too. Oh boy, so close to the end of the second wave. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all those new subs and the likes and the comments and the dislikes and all this other stuff you do. Thanks for all your support. Have a good day and keep messing around.